Problem number 12. A four digit area code is designed as follows. The first digit could be two or three, the second can be zero or one, and the third any digit greater than five, and the last can be any digit. How many different codes are possible? Okay, so because we have a four digit code, we'll start by drawing a little picture. So there's the first digit, there's the second digit, there's the third digit, and there is the fourth digit. Now let's go back and figure out how many ways we can pick each digit. So it says the first digit could be a two or a three. That means there are two choices for the first digit. The second digit could be only zero or one. So again, two choices for the second digit. The third can, digit can be greater than five. So greater than five would be six, seven, eight, or nine, right? So there's four, oh, yeah, nine. So four ways, right? So four ways to pick a number greater than five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And the last one can be any digit. Well, there's 10 possible digits because you have to count zero. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 possibilities. So the number of ways to pick all four digits is the product of the number of ways of picking the individual digits. That's the multiplication rule. So if you multiply all of this out, you get two times two, which is four, four times four, which is 16, and times 10, so this should be equal to 160. And so the answer in this case would be D. Good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.